Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Where are you going to put it? Ah, here, in front. Yes. Uh, my name is Sorry, we'll wait for Kakatu. My name is Chang Eun Che. I'm running a home based Korea restaurant in Kokatu. My restaurant started in a small apartment in Brunswick, and then me and my husband recently moved to Kokatu because we want to have uh, more space to do more fermentation. And then I want to give the customer more, feel more peaceful and beautiful scenery. I, my food is fermentation, Korea, Korean style, you know, traditional fermentation food. And then I try to make everything from scratch like uh, I love to forage some vegetable and then I dry them out and then make a you know side issue with them for people and usually I go to the market the day before or the day and I try to make the most fresh food for each customers because I always think the simple is the best. So I don't really season a lot. So I, that's why I try to get the most fresh uh, ingredient. And my mom back to back in Korea, she is like a old style traditional Korean woman. So she is making everything and then she sent me to here for, 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 you know, for my guest. So I usually use that. But I usually make my all condiments like uh, soy sauce and beans, bean paste, chili paste, and so, uh, what? And or enzyme because I'm not using sugar. So I try to use something more traditional fermentation sweetener called enzyme and I also make vinegar and my mom sent me a oil salt from South Korea because I only use four ingredients for my cooking sesame oil, soy so ah, sesame oil, salt, enzyme and soy sauce that's all from scratch. I don't know, some, some of us uh, so salt, usually my mom drained the salt for at least four years. So that's over four years old the salt. And soy sauce, my, I tried to make, but I can't make, I couldn't make big batch before. So my mom always sent me the extra soy sauce that would be a few years, sometimes five years or less than that and been paced at least one year old, one year old. Chili paste as well. I cook similar, but my mom from South Park, so she loved to eat something more spicy and more salty, but I don't really prepare to prepare that way. So I try to season minimalized, minimalized. Um, she say blank, <laughs> no flavor, but well, I love that because I want to people feel like a, in the, like a, if I use broccoli, I want minim, you know, season just little amount of salt and then feel the right broccoli flavor with Korean, you know, way. I love to meet people and then we can share our like uh, life and then philosophy together and then I really want want to introduce to people what is real Korean food no BBQ or no deep fried chicken it's like a core of Korean food I love to see what people reaction and then 
because most of people never have uh, this kind of experience. So I love to see how they eat, how they feel, and then we can, and then sometimes they introduce what their culture to me, their, their culture, their own, you know, fermentation culture. And then we, I love to listen. I used to work at Katalenko or other restaurant. I used to work really long hours. So I started small restaurant and then I just want to focus on the cooking. If I work alone, I can do whatever I want to do. Like a for example menu and we can, I can give them high, I think a high quality of service to them. At the beginning, no one advised me for this dining chair. I, it was my dream since I started cooking. And after I left, uh, left Kotlenko, I talked about this dream to everyone and then they all left. They think that's all ridiculous idea and they, it never work. And I said, okay, but if you give me chance, I just try one or two days first. And if it's not working, I will find a full-time job. And luckily, it was quite popular since I started. And then now they all, everybody are so happy. And then everybody say, you are right. My advice is, just do it whatever you want. And even people left at me, left at your idea, don't, don't really listen. Just do it. <laughs>